Haley, got to be a frustrating way for your night to end, but just talk about what you saw there. Yeah, I saw um, two of the guys start wrecking in front of me um, a little bit before entry of one, and so I started blowing it down a little bit because I was playing cautious at the beginning of the race, um, just trying to stay back a little bit, see what was going on, see how kind of everyone races a little bit. And I was hanging back a little bit. The guy behind me was hanging back just like two, I think, two, three car lengths off me. And then when I checked up, um, he... I got hit just a little bit on entry as I was blowing it down into one, and it just started my momentum back up again. Couldn't get woe down in time, so I uh, thought I was going to be able to miss it. Got hit a little bit, got shoved into it, but honestly, super speed racing. Uh, just it, it sucks because the guys worked really hard on this car, getting everything ready. A lot of a lot of good things, positive things going into this season. So um, still got to thank everyone at AM Racing. They've done a lot for me in my career, giving me a great opportunity. So Daytona is a wild one trying to go into it, and uh, you never really know what's going to happen. So You had an extra long weekend with the team, so what can you take away with everything working together, getting to the track this weekend? Yeah, I mean, me and the team work great together. Um, I feel like we already have built really great relationships, spent a lot of time at the shop during the off offseason. Uh, so now we're just going to – Going to keep our heads up, work to the next race. Got Atlanta obviously coming up in a few days, so I uh, got a lot of work to do before then and going to see where it takes us. Did you, get an perspective? Did, you, did you get a good look at Suarez's car as you tried to check up there? Not one bit. You were, uh, it's still a relatively new program with AM Racing, this Xfinity program. Yeah. Is there some concern going into Atlanta, losing a car here, and then having to go to Atlanta? Where I mean, um, we don't, we're not lacking cars and stuff. They've done a great job with their allotment of cars or anything, so uh, I don't think that's a problem. But I think just more so the time frame of getting getting our Atlanta car ready and all that to get moving forward. And how frustrating is it for you for the season to start like this? Obviously, you kind of wanted to have a good start to the season, get things going on. Yeah, it's the hardest part. I've had a bad relationship with Daytona ever since my first truck race here. So uh, it's been hard for me. I've never been able to kind of conquer it or at least figure out what the right way is. Should you hang back? Should you go? Where is the kind of danger zone? Never been able to figure those things out. So uh, still working at it, but I think the next one will obviously be a little bit better, a little more, a little more at play. So I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's hard to say. experience different, or do you take things from each race and, the, uh, and to try to apply it going forward? I mean... This is a new car, so a lot of things are new for me. So everything I have to compare it to is the truck. So uh, it's kind of a fresh kind of ball game of learning of this whole whole system of racing and this whole series and everyone that I'm racing against and what's going on. So uh, just trying to take in as much information as I can. Glad you're okay. Yeah, thanks.